Okay, we just got down here in the creek and I got him. Look at this. Look at this giant tadpole. Oh my gosh, that is a big bullfrog tadpole. Look, he's got legs. He's got legs. That is so cute. That's massive. He's like four yeah, he's inches cute. long. Wow, do we have any baits that look like giant tadpoles? <laughs> we can match the hatch for real out here. I saw a bunch of them. That is crazy. There's one sitting right there. They are literally oh everywhere. Goodness. He's like, hey, can you put me back? I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Man, that's how you start the video off, JJ. Big old giant tadpoles. And the creek looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and send our buddy back into the creek. Swim. He's so big, he can't even swim right. <laughs> there he goes. Under a rock. All right. Oh. Well, that's how you get things started. Big old giant tadpole. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish. We got this nice little riffle right here. It doesn't look super deep, but there's probably some smallmouth or some spotted bass or largemouth or something. Jay's starting off by ripping the jerk bait. I'm actually going to start off by throwing this little Ned rig. It's been a long time since I've thrown a straight up Ned rig. Um, but I feel like I feel like I could get the job done today. And I've opted for this bait fish pattern because in the past, whenever we fished here, there's a lot of little shiny bait fish around. And I think that this can definitely help imitate that. And that's why Jay's throwing that jerk bait. Little shiny jerk baits always work in creeks like this. And I'm in the tree. I'm out of the tree. You might need to find something just a little bit deeper. Fish on. Jay's hooked up. First smaller of the day belongs to Jay on the jerk bait. Yeah, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's dark. First small of the day belongs to Jay. Not a monster, <laughs> but it's definitely a good start and a, definitely a positive sign that we're going to catch some out here today. Oh, yeah. We're just getting started. He fought good. Yeah, he did. Got a lot of jumps, and he smashed that little jerk bait. They love that little flash you got here in these creeks, and uh, hopefully we'll catch some more, hopefully some bigger ones. All right, fish. We'll see you later. Oh, gosh. <sighs> he was ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Good one. Good one, Jay. There we go. I'm on the board. He's not that big, but he's good size. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, yeah. Get up here. There we go. I'm on the board with my first Molly of the day. Might be a little bit bigger than Jay's. I'm not sure. Pretty similar in size, but he put up a good fight across the creek. And that is the first fish I caught on an Ed rig in quite some time. I just kind of neglect to throw this bait because it gets hung up a lot in these rocks. But, you know, I felt like just kind of swimming around like Jason on that jerk bait would uh, do the trick and it sure did on this guy. We haven't <laughs> gone very far down the creek and we've seen some fish swimming around. So hopefully we can get some even bigger than this one. But with that, we will send this guy back in the creek. Look how beautiful he is. I know. He's, He's got gorgeous. a nice little chubby belly. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're after today. All right. Thanks for biting little guy. We will see you later. <laughs> you got one? Oh, what is that? Oh, that thing is beautiful. Wow, Jay. <laughs> All right, we just made it down here to this really juicy looking pool. Jay fired out there and got a really beautiful long-eared sunfish. Look at that. You wouldn't expect for a little fish like that to eat a jerk bait, but um, he sure did. And that I watched is, him eat it too. <laughs> and he is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. That is a really vibrant, most likely a male fish. And um, now I can see him catch fish like that all day long. Oh yeah, I mean, sure. His face. Oh, he's got a little leech on him too. That's crazy. He got a little leech on his fin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. He's got a leech down there. I mean, I wish I could have a whole fish tank full of fish like that. <laughs> but we'll get him unhooked and get him back in the water. Gotcha! I saw him swim over and eat that thing. Is that a largemouth? That's a smallie. Whoa, look at there. Oh, what's that jumping? Is that a big bass? I don't know what that is, but here's my second fish of the day. That big pool where Jay caught that long-eared sunfish looked really, really good, but we only caught that little sunfish out of there. But now we're in the pool directly underneath it, and it looks good too. A little bit more current coming through here. But that's a good little smallie, not a monster. I think it's longer than the last one I caught, but just not quite as fat. But we're going to send him back here into the weeds. We'll see ya. I swapped up to more of a green pumpkin-colored Ned worm to see if that made a difference. Uh, I'm not sure if it really has or not. I didn't get any bites in the pool above, but... We did get one right here, so we'll see if we can get some more on it. Oh, there's another one. Next cast. There we go. Always oh, tugging. Come here, big guy. Big little baby. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, the line just went underneath the spin. Ah, there we go. Two casts in a row. That's awesome. We might be in a good spot now, Jay. 
he's kind of a tiny guy, but maybe that swap to the green pumpkin was the move. So we'll send him back in there, see if we can keep building on that. See ya. I was kind of caught off guard catching two fish and two casts, but I mean, this is the kind of spot you're looking for when you're wading these creeks. We got a nice riffle right there. Got some nice chunk rocks and it leads down to a deep pool with some more chunk rocks. So a lot of times you'll catch fish right here in this fast moving water if it's deep enough and you'll keep following it down. You have a break, like right there is a nice little calm spot. There should be one there in theory. And then right down there is some chunk rock and there should be some right there. So we're gonna work this pool all the way through. Hopefully get some more fish. There it is, big one, Jay. That's a big one, that's a big one, JJ. That is a big one. That's a big one. That is a monster for this creek. That is a monster for this creek. Oh my gosh. That's not, oh my gosh. That's not a smallie. That's a walleye. Are you serious? It's a walleye. Get it over here. Oh my gosh, it's a walleye. Look out, look out. Okay, I'm out of the way. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. Get him on the I got him. You got a walleye. <laughs> Are you serious? I was not expecting to catch that. No, I thought that fish looked so big. I was like, that's the biggest smallie I've ever seen come out of this creek. Whoa! You've got to be kidding me. I am so pumped right now. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow, how awesome is that, JJ? I know! this. I am just so excited right now. This is definitely the catch of the day. It's going to be so hard to beat this fish. I know, we were definitely not expecting <laughs> to catch walleye. I knew, although I knew that it would be a possibility we could tango with some walleye today, I just didn't really think that it would happen. You know, this is more of a creek that you would catch them in like late winter, early spring when they're in here spawning. But what, whoa, how cool is that though? He's a good one too. Yeah, he is. I'm really bummed that we're gonna have to let him go. I know. I wish these fish are so tasty. I know, we don't have anything on us that we could keep him with and we're still gonna hike Ooh. some more downstream, but he's looking pretty agile. He's doing pretty good. But he's oh, like gosh. A, oh gosh. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. But yeah, he's a good sized fish, probably like 20 to 22 inches, I'd say. And I'd say that's, I guess that's your second biggest one you caught, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, he's spicy, so I'm let's put him like, in the water. Yeah, let's see what he does from here. Hang on. Oh, oh gosh. You ready? Let's get one last look at him. Put my side. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful walleye. Look at that. What a stunning fish. It's been a long time since either one of us caught a walleye, I too. I know. All right, Jade, you have any final words for your fish before you send them off? Thank you, fish, for making my day. You are so <laughs> cool. All right. Be free, buddy. Go, go, go. Oh, he's slow. He fought really slow too. You know, he fought really slow. Where's he at? There he goes. You just kind of see him right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Congrats on that awesome fish catch. Oh, hooked up. I heard your drag kind of loose. I was like, I'm going to tighten that up really quick. Woo! That fish said, I don't care how loose the drag is. <laughs> yeah. I don't like dealing with treble hooks. <laughs> I know, especially with these spicy smallies. You never know when they're going to shake. And those hooks on that bait, we replaced them with some pretty sharp ones. But that's a nice little fish. Not a monster, but still a good one. And hopefully, I have hope. I have hope that I we'll catch a big one. We might even catch another walleye. You never know. You never know. Oh, he's got something in his mouth. What's that? Oh! <gasps> No way, what's what he? It? He's got like a frog coming out of his mouth. What? Let me see. No joke. Oh my gosh! He's got a frog coming he out of his does. mouth. Oh snap, he's got a frog. It's a baby bullfrog. That's insane. Can y'all see that? I'm not sure if I can see that or not, but he's got a frog right there in his mouth. That's cool. Hopefully he doesn't spit it up. Well, I'll just toss him back in for you. See ya. That is one hungry fishy. I know. His <laughs> mouth is completely filled up with a bullfrog. <laughs> I just felt a tiny little bite. I don't think that's a smallie. It was so small. There's no way it's a small mouth. Is he even hooked? <laughs> He's hooked. I got myself my first longer sunfish of the day. I just felt the tiniest little tick at the end of my cast. And that guy slurped <laughs> this Ned. Watch it come out of his mouth. Woo! <laughs> oh man, I think he bit off way more than he could chew, but at least I was able to hook up with him. Cool little fish. Not what I'm after. I'm after big smallies and walleye now. Stay on there. He's moving so fast. Did you see how fast that fish took off? Golly. Oh my gosh. 
That was electric right there, guys. <laughs> so I just had a gar, and he stole my green pumpkin dead worm, so I put my white one back on, and first cast with that, and I got myself another little smallie. Not a monster, once again, but you saw how fast that guy was swimming. That was crazy. I'd love to catch a big one to fight like that. Peace. Smallie! Another fast one. Wow. <laughs> Are you going behind yours? This creek definitely doesn't seem to have a whole big population of big ones. Or at least we haven't seen very many big ones out here today. But these little guys are... Oh, he ate it. Oh, he spit it out. Golly, they're aggressive in this spot. Can I send you back? They're feasting right now. Stay on there. Stay on there. That's, a, that's not a smallie, is it? No, looky there. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. Look what I just caught, guys. Surprise, this is the first one we've caught so far today. That is an Ozark red eye bass. He ate the little white Ned rig. I just lost a pretty good sized smallmouth. We are in a really beautiful spot. We have a really deep cut with some really big chunk rock. And I feel like there's some really big smallies hanging out there. But there's also apparently some of these guys chilling. He's a little chubby guy. We love catching these fish anytime we are exploring these Ozark oh, yeah. rivers and creeks. And um, that's awesome. He's not a monster, but he's definitely an above average sized one for sure. But we'll go on ahead and drop this guy back into the creek. That was cool. Now let's try to find ourselves a big smallie out here. I, there's got to be one in this creek somewhere. Like, we can't walk this far and not catch one, Jay. It looks too good right here. It looks way too good. And you know, maybe they're there and they just don't want to bite our baits, but we're going to try to do some convincing. Big one? Oh, good one, Jay. Oh, that's the biggest one, I think. You got him, Jay. Oh. You got him, Jay. Oh gosh, oh, stop. <laughs> there it is. Oh, finally! All right, good job, Jay. Way to finally catch us a decent sized smallmouth. I know, I'm not gonna lie. I've lost a couple just a few minutes ago. So I was like freaking out on this one. I did not want to lose this fish. <laughs> yeah, he's not a monster. He's probably about, no. four, he's about 13, 14 inches, but still he's a lot you know, thicker built than the other ones we've caught. Mm -hmm. And he fought really good, it looked like. Yeah, they're all just so feisty. They fight so hard. I know, if we could like link up with one of these two pounders that are out here, I bet it'll fight like crazy because oh, yeah. something, oh, yeah. something's got him in a, in a tube today. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we will get this guy back in the water. We have a little bit of stretch left. We're gonna go down to like right where you see those rocks at right about there. That's gonna be our end point because we're gonna hike back out on the road and get back to the car. So we don't have a whole lot of time to make something happen, but hopefully we'll get another chance at a good one. Hopefully. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Fishy, we'll see you later. Gotcha, be a good one. Always decent. He's so dark. I'll take it. Come here. That fish is basically black. Wow. What a cool looking smallmouth, guys. Thing is beautiful. Well, I guess this is as good as it's gonna get for me today out here on the creek. This is a pretty accurate representation of our day. Another nice, like, 11 inch smallmouth, not a monster, but look at the colors. Every fish we've caught out here today has been so beautiful, so colored up. He's got a bunch of beautiful patterns. He's got beautiful fins. And I swapped it up on him. I've been throwing that white Ned rig. Let me get this out of here so I can show you guys the bait I was using. So I found this little Ned bait down in my tackle bag. This is actually a little salamander imitation, but to me it kind of looks like those little baby's tadpoles that are out here. It's got the little feet dangling, and um, I feel like that matched the hatch a little bit better. I wish I would have found it sooner because I think I could have wrecked shop on it, but this guy ate it. We're going to send him back here in the creek. Get big so we can catch him when you're... Oh, jump! Oh, I think that's a jump. <laughs> Hopefully we can come back here, you know, it's a couple years from now and he'll be a three-pounder, but I think it's going to do it for today's adventure. The road that we're going to hike back up on is right there. And um, that's literally like our only exit point on this creek. So as much as we'd like to continue going down that way, we'd have to go like another two miles before we had a good spot to exit. So we're going to call it a day right here. All right, so like I just said, that's it for today's fishing adventure. We had a great time out here on this creek. Caught some nice smallmouth, caught that big surprise walleye. Yes. Definitely the catch for the day. <laughs> Was not expecting that. And of course, we got to see some really beautiful sights yes. along the way. So guys, if y'all enjoy these creek fishing adventures, let us know down in the comments section and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're, We're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.